Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at percentage calculations. We're going to look at how to increase a value by a percentage or how to decrease it. So you might want to increase it if you're working out the markup. You buy a product, say product one at £45, and you want to make 12% profit on it. What is the markup that you need to add to your buyout price? to calculate your sell-up price. You also might want to add VAT, 20% in the UK, to your price to know what to sell it at. So how do you do that? We'll also look at how to discount prices. So you've got a normal price, say £45, product one down here, and you want to calculate a 15% discount and then know what your price is. Now, initially we'll do it with uh, helper columns. So you'll have calculations in two columns, but I will show you how to do it all in one formula eventually. Anyway, let's start off with increasing a value by a percentage. So we want to increase this value by 12%. Now, this is actually, once you get it in your head, it's quite simple because it's just multiplication. So I've got my buyout price there, which is 45 pounds, and I'm multiplying it by 12%. So I press enter. I get £5.40. Now, just to point out what this 12% is, how do you enter that 12% into a cell? Well, you've got two choices. The easiest way is literally to write 12 and then percent. And what you've actually done when you've written 12% in, if I take the percentage format out, you've written 0.12. So that'd be the other way of doing it, 0.12, and then format it with the percent button up here. Okay, so the decimal equivalent of 12% is 0.12. The decimal equivalent of 50% is 0.5. Okay, so as long as you've got your percentage sign in that value, in the cell that you're pointing to here, it's going to calculate it correctly for you. So that's the markup. So now I can work out what the sellout price is. So that would be the buyout price plus the markup. And that gives you your sellout price. Now, if I want to do this calculation for the other products in this list, before I copy this down, I need to fix my reference to G1. Otherwise, it's going to look down in these cells. So I do that with the F4 key on my keyboard. If your F4 key doesn't work, try holding down the FN key and the F4 key. And if that doesn't work, just type the dollars in. So I can copy that down. It works out the markup for these and copy this down. And I've got my sell at prices for all of my products. Now that required us uh, having two columns, one for the markup and one for the sell at price. It is possible, if I just add another column, I'll call this all in one. All in one, we're going to do one formula that does the lot for us. And this is probably the way I would do it. Uh, I would say equals uh, our buyout price times, and then I'm going to open a bracket. I'll explain the bracket in a minute. One plus the 12%, which I'm going to fix. Close the bracket. Now, if I press enter, you'll see I get £50.40, pence, which is the same value that I achieved here using two columns, but I've done it here with one column. So how does this work? Well, obviously 45 pounds times one plus H1. Well, what's one plus 12%? It's 112%. One is the same as typing 100%. We'll give you the same answer, but why type the extra three characters when you can just get away with one? So one is like the decimal equivalent of 100%, 0.5, the decimal equivalent of 50%. 1 plus 12%. So 1 times B2 would be 45, but you're adding the extra 12%, and that's why that works. So why do I need the brackets? Well, this gets into maths a little bit. If I don't use the brackets, what it does is the multiplication first. So it would say B2, 45 pounds, times 1. Well, B2 times 1 is uh, 45 pounds plus 12P. I'll prove that. I take those brackets out. 
all it does is give me 45 pounds and 12 pence because it does the multiplication first. B2 times one is 45 plus 0.12, which is 12 pence. I don't want to do that. I want to multiply 45 pounds by 112%. So I need to do this bit first. Brackets tells Excel, you've got to do that part of the calculation first. So I'll copy this down and it works nicely. Exactly the same as these answers, but you've only used one column. So how do we do it with discounts? Very similar. So what I would do is I'd work out what 15% of the normal price is, and that would be the value that I need to discount the normal price by. So the sell at price would be 45 minus the discount, £38.25. And again, if I'm going to copy this down, I need to lock my reference to the 15%. So using F4 to do that, and then I copy it down. And then I can copy this down as well. So how do I do this in one column, all in one, all in one, without the helper column? You may have guessed, very similar to what we did before. So we take our normal price and we say times by one minus the discount, one minus the discount. So if you think about it, if you are offering a 15% discount, you have 85% of the original price left. That's what you need to calculate. So what we're doing is saying here that we're multiplying 45 pounds by 100% minus 15%, which gives us 85%. That's what that calculation resolves to. And if I copy it down, you can see that I get completely different answers. Why have I got completely different answers? You guessed it, it's because I didn't fix the H9 reference. Always got to remember that. Otherwise, you will get the wrong answer. Very easy to forget to lock your H9 reference or your reference to your discount. Uh, it's always better, by the way, to avoid hard coding the discount number in. So when I say hard coding, I mean actually typing in the discount, typing in 15%, because what you want to do is future-proof your spreadsheet. And what I mean by that is if I decided I want to make a bit more profit, I could change the 15% up here. All these numbers change. So I want to be more generous with my discount, 20% there. And you can see that all those numbers change as well. Okay, so it's better to refer to a cell rather than hard coding the values into your formula. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully that's been helpful. Please subscribe if it has been, and I'll see you next video.